Hi, I'm Jeremy Stein with the Center for Holy Land Studies, and I've got some fun artifacts to talk about today. What I have in front of me are different weights from the time of the Second Temple period, the time that Jesus uh, is living. These weights would have been commonly used in everyday commerce um, all throughout the land of Israel. But when we look at the temple itself, there was a lot that took place at the temple. The temple served almost as a central bank for Israel because people are giving their annual tax to the temple as well as goods and services are being exchanged for a price. We see this specifically in the Gospels when Jesus is there at the temple and he gets enraged at what he sees with the changing of the money and the money changers ripping the people off so that the the Sadducean leaders can essentially increase their own wealth. When we look at these weights, we can kind of see a little bit of what we see inside the Gospels, which is fascinating. In the Gospels, you might open up, let's say, Luke's Gospel as opposed to Matthew's Gospel and see that the cost for maybe a turtle dove is a different price in each of them. Now, some people have gone and looked at that and said, ah, the Gospel writers don't know what they're talking about. But on the contrary, they know exactly what they're talking about because like our age today, inflation was a very, very real reality. And it was something that was capitalized upon by some of the people inside the temple. We know this simply by looking at these weights because you'll see inside these weights, look at these little holes that you have or little indentations. These are taking weight from the original cut of the weight to change it to deal with the inflation. The, the, the weight is changing over time, sometimes minimally like this, or sometimes drastically. If we look at this weight in particular, one side is only cut slightly, while another side has an even deeper cut. This is to go with the changing times, and so they could essentially fix their prices as they saw fit. Now, this plays heavily into why Jesus is throwing the tables and kicking them out because they've turned God's place into a, a place of prayer into, as he says, a den of robbers, a place where they can cheat the system in order to get the most money out of the people to expand their already luxurious lives.